Well, so far, no word from Butler County's most powerful law enforcer tonight as a Fox 19 Now investigation reveals allegations of perjury and evidence tampering surrounding two of its deputies. Sheriff Richard Jones named in a federal lawsuit along with those two deputies. Kevin Gray accused those deputies of making up charges from a traffic stop in 2014. This is the stop right here. He's also suing them, accusing them of hiding dash cam video and then editing it before trial. Investigative reporter Jody Barr spent weeks digging into this case and he joins us now. So Jody, what is the deal here? So you showed us a little bit of this last night. But what's the what's the update? Well, the update is now we're trying to have someone from the county respond. And you know, we've we've had a time trying to get someone to respond because uh, the sheriff's office has declined nearly a dozen interview requests from us. But we caught up with both deputies last night after our live shot in Hamilton, trying to have someone from the county explain the county side of these evidence tampering allegations. Just before 11 o'clock Wednesday night, we found him. How you doing, Mr. Brockman? Good evening. We'd asked multiple times for an interview with Butler County Corporal Mike Brockman. He never responded. Brockman and Deputy Jason Hatfield were involved in this traffic stop from December 2014. It's a stop that ended with Hatfield charging Kevin Gray with a felony concealed weapons violation, OVI, and minor traffic offenses. Complete lie. Complete fabrication of events. Complete fabrication of events. A jury acquitted Gray of all of Hatfield's charges. Gray suing Hatfield and Brockman, accusing the men of hiding this dash cam video for more than a year. And Gray says both men were involved in editing that tape. We found Hatfield last night walking into the sheriff's office. You think you want to say? Unfortunately, he's just, I, I don't think, is, is an honest individual. Gray says he feels the same way about Corporal Brockman. Brockman was the one who drove Gray to jail that night and whose car had the video camera. Brockman testified he kept the tape in his house for 14 months. He never turned it in as evidence. When Gray got a hold of it the first day of trial, it had no sound on it. And more than six minutes in the middle of the tape, Gray says was missing. We found Brockman last night leaving the sheriff's office. There's only one thing I can tell you. Contact the sheriff or his administrative staff for anything concerning that. Have a good evening. Well, we have done that. We can't get an answer back from them or you. Did you edit that dash cam video? I answered to the sheriff. You need to get a hold of him. Okay. Have a nice evening. Well, we're not getting answers from him. And we'd like to hear from you. Did you edit that video? I can't make the sheriff talk, so. Well, we're asking you. The, the allegations are against you specifically, sir. Well, nearly a dozen requests again with the, for an interview with the sheriff have all been denied. The sheriff spokesman tells me the sheriff's office refuses to talk about this case because of that pending lawsuit. Right. So what about the prosecutor? What does he have to say? Well, we don't know because I sent just today again uh, an email to Mike Moser, the Butler County prosecutor, to ask him, what are you going to do about these allegations? These are serious felonies that um, are being accused around this case. And he, he hasn't responded as of this report. All right, Jody, thank you very much. And you don't have to wait because right now Jody's entire investigation is on the Fox 19 Now mobile news app and at fox19now.com. We have evident logs, trial testimony, and a breakdown of the video and the video they say they have that they say proves the video was indeed edited.